Sister Wives star Madison Brush announces pregnancy news amid estrangement from dad Cody Brown. Sister Wives Janelle Brown and Cody Brown's daughter Madison Brush announced that she is pregnant with her fourth child amid her ongoing estrangement from her dad. Another baby is being added into the Sister Wives family. Madison Brush, the 28-year-old daughter of exes Janelle Brown and Cody Brown, announced on Sister Wives Sunday that she is expecting her fourth child. What a wild year, looks like 2025 might be a little crazy too. Maddie captioned a September 29th Instagram post in which she is cradling her new baby bump. Baby brush number four coming March 2025. Grandma Janelle reposted Maddie's news on her own Instagram story, writing, pretty dang excited. Maddie and her husband Caleb Brush are already parents to son Axel Brush, 7, and daughters Evie Brush, 5, and Josephine Brush, 19 months. The pregnancy news comes amid a tense time between Maddie and her estranged dad Cody. As seen on the most recent season of the family's TLC series, their relationship has been discussed numerous times in the wake of Janelle's 2022 split from Cody. To be honest with you I didn't really cut off communications with Madison. She cut them off with me, Cody said of his daughter in a September 22nd episode. Every time I talked to her it was a fish for gossip, and I got tired of it. However, Janelle viewed the situation differently, saying, Cody really did cut off communication with Caleb and Maddie when the family started to really dissolve and the kids really don't know who he is, he's not been out to visit, he doesn't call. Janelle added that her daughter doesn't see the need for her own kids to have a relationship with their grandfather amid their estrangement. Maddie is mama bear to an extreme, Janelle said, she felt like until he can be consistent and show up and not be dramatic, she feels like it's probably better if they don't know about him. Cody's relationships with his older kids have been at odds in recent years following his splits from Janelle, Christine Brown and Mary Brown. The former polygamist only has one remaining wife, Robin Brown, who claimed to have supported Cody rekindling his relationships with his kids. I have encouraged Cody to work any relationship out that he can with his kids, Robin said during the episode, but I guess it's been a two-way street. Maddie hasn't been reaching out to her dad either. Mary says Cody gave her hope for their marriage Cody Brown insisted he was ready to divide himself from first wife Mary Brown shortly after their 1990 vows but, he led me to believe that he would work on things by saying, oh Mary, when we move to Flagstaff, this will be a good time to have a new beginning for us, Mary shared in the September 15th premiere, referencing their 2018 move. Like he led me to believe those things. This is what he's done for many, many years. Her main gripe, she shared, is, his lack of communication and how he really felt and what he really wanted or what he really didn't want and the story that he's been telling for all these years. And while Cody acknowledged that there may have been mixed messages, it was only because as he started to work on things, I'm like, why would I do this? He explained, I would not court and date her now. Either way, Mary's friends were thrilled when she finally pulled the plug in early 2023. They're like, okay, we're here for you, we're supporting you, and it's about damn time, she confessed, blinders off, she now feels that he had been trying to get her to walk away for years by insisting he didn't love her, because if he can push me out and I leave, he's not the bad guy because he didn't walk away. Cody wanted to sell Coyote Pass years after the family purchased the 14-acre plot of land they planned to build on in Flagstaff, Ares. Cody confessed in the season premiere that he was ready to let the dream wither. Unable to build without paying off the full $820,000 price tag, which the family reportedly did in 2023, he told remaining wife Robin Brown, I'd almost rather scrap it or sell it and then just start again somewhere else. As for Robin, I can't talk about that, she responded, that is so not where I'm at. Janelle left Cody for this reason while second wife Janelle Brown previously told E! News, we just kind of started to grow apart, ultimately it was Cody's lapses as a parent to some of their kids that pushed her to leave. The big spark for me was when his relationship broke down with my children and he didn't seem like he would move heaven and earth to fix it, explained the mom to Logan Brown, Madison Brown Brush, Hunter Brown, Garrison Brown, Gabriel Brown and Savannah Brown. And I thought, okay, that was what was really holding me here. Cody feels he's been excommunicated from his own family. That was the explanation Cody gave for not working harder to mend the rifts he was experiencing with several of his adult children. I don't fit in the family anymore, he griped in the September 15th episode, noting he was still fully married to Robin and parenting their five kids together, Dayton Brown, Aurora Brown, Brianna Brown, Solomon Brown and Ariella Brown, he added, and then I have some relationship with some of the other kids and it's infrequent. And so I'm like, what do I do with all of this? It doesn't feel like a family. 
Robin and Cody's marriage was on shaky ground despite being truly monogamous for the first time in their 14-year union, we're probably doing the worst we've ever done in our marriage, Robin confessed in the season 19 premiere, it's been tough between us, he doesn't know who to blame, himself or one of the other wives, Cody's feeling a lot of rejection and so I think he's kind of looking at me going, are you going to reject me too? As a result, she revealed, I'm on my toes, I'm having to consistently make sure that he is not sabotaging our relationship. The hardest part, she summed up, there's no resource to help with the idea that I'm still married to a man who's going through divorces. Cody, meanwhile, was having a crisis of confidence, sharing, I can't look myself in the mirror and say, hey, dude, I love you. Maddie isn't speaking to her dad add Janelle's eldest daughter Madison to the list of kids Cody doesn't currently have a relationship with. I know that Maddie has not had any conversations with her dad, Janelle explained during the premiere. He's not called, she's not called him, and she doesn't have any relationship with Robin. She's pretty much written them both off. At issue, said Janelle, is Cody having a half-hearted relationship with Maddie's kids Axel, Evangeline and Josephine. She doesn't really want him to have any contact unless he can commit to it. As a result, Janelle shared in the September 22nd episode, Cody, did sort of cut off communication, with Maddie and her husband Caleb Brush, whose sister was married to Cody's brother, when the family started to really dissolve. With Cody not visiting or calling, Maddie, has been mama bear to the extreme, added Janelle. She has felt like until he can be consistent and show up and not be dramatic that she feels like it's probably better if they don't know about him. And while Robin noted she's been encouraging Cody to reach out and mend things, she said, I think the kids should be doing the same thing, too. For now, though, Cody doesn't seem ready to repair the rift, griping that every time he spoke to his daughter, it was a fish for gossip and I got tired of it. Cody claimed he never loved Mary while spending time together on their 32nd anniversary, he was alluding to the fact that he never loved me and he felt like he had to marry me. Mary shared in a chat with her friend Brandy during the September 15th premiere. And I said to him, I said, Cody, I said, I know you love me. And if he didn't, she said in a confessional, why did he ever choose to propose? When a single young man meets a single young woman, why would he choose to marry her and just affirm and force love for her when he didn't love her? She wondered, how cruel is that, to pick me out of a crowd and just be like, I pick you to try to force myself to love for the next 32 years? Cody's response, he shared in his own confessional, oh, Mary has her little accusations now. Fine, she can say whatever she wants. I'm not going to comment on it. Janelle threatened legal action against Cody though she was undecided on if she'd like to build on Coyote Pass or simply sell it off. Janelle noted that step one was paying off the Arizona property. And with Cody unwilling to talk to her about the situation, I think I'm going to have to lawyer up, she confessed to former sister wife Christine Brown in the September 22nd episode, because I think that's the only way I'm ever going to get any kind of decision out of him. And Janelle acknowledged that without a legal marriage to Cody, I really have no legal rights to make any kind of claim on Cody's property. As she put it, it's not like I'm just calling a lawyer and saying I need to divorce this person. No, it's really complicated because there's no legal marriage. Cody supposedly divulged private information to his other wives. Cody's explanation for not talking with Janelle about their Arizona property is that he no longer trusted her. We will pay off the property when the time comes, he insisted in a confessional during the September 22nd episode, and I'm not giving you any details about what I'm doing or whatever because I'm tired of disclosing information that goes through the gossip mill of our broken family. A bit of a pot calling the kettle black, Janelle said in her own interview. He leaks like a sieve, she shared. He told me stuff about his other relationships and his other wives that I was like, I don't think you're supposed to be telling me that. Family money paid for Robin's house back when the family's love was still multiplying rather than dividing, they used to pool their money into one pot. We would use all the resources to help one person, then we would all rally to support the other person, Janelle explained on the September 22nd episode. That's how it always worked until the last 10 years or so, and all of a sudden it's been about my estate and everyone needs their own estate. So when Robin was in need of a home in Arizona, they all pitched in to buy her $1.65 million five-bedroom spread, which was listed for sale this past August. The intention was that it would be an asset for the family, said Robin, but when Janelle suggested that they all put their names on the mortgage, she was rebuffed. Cody was, like, no, no, we need to protect, you know, protect Robin's estate, Janelle recalled. So now that she's extricating herself from the family, continued Janelle, she'd like her portion of the Coyote Pass proceeds, and I'd like to recoup some of the money I put into Robin's house. But that could be a tough sell. 
We were working together for so long, noted Robin, and with Janelle saying she's owed money from them, Robin added, it's like, how do you calculate, how do you figure that out, it's so confusing. Janelle questioned how Cody handled the family money. Griping about the family's inability to pay off Coyote Pass, Janelle said Cody claimed to have all these other debts, and, yet, she's watched him snap up other assets like trailers and home decor. I see all the art on their walls, she said of Robin and Cody's home. I see all these things. And that's fine, I have money and I've spent it on things, too. For his part Cody said much of his cash went to buying cars, basically had a fleet and insurance for the kids. And while Janelle acknowledged she wasn't sure how Cody and Robin handled their finances, I used to always be surprised at how nice her backyard was. It was completely finished. And there was always, like, stuff at her house. And I was like, wow, huh. Bottom line, she said, he doesn't prioritize what I need or what I want, and that issue eventually wore her down. I think after a while, I began to see it, and my kids were getting very angry about it, like my adult children. Like, what the hell, mom? Robin's take, however, was that she was very careful with her budget after her first marriage fell apart. I used to be not so great with money, she shared during the September 22nd episode. When I was young, I had hard knocks, and then I learned during my divorce really how to budget myself very, very well. As for her fellow sister wives, she said, you just must have had a different priority of where your money was going to go than I did, that's all. Janelle and Christine see their kids as the core group of the family. At the moment, Janelle acknowledged in the September 22nd episode, while she and Christine get together with their broods, there's no contact, really, with Mary or Robin or Cody. I don't really foresee that's going to change much. Cody thinks his wives leaving hurt his relationship with the kids. Calling their setup with four homes on one cul-de-sac during their stretch in Las Vegas, the best time of my life, Cody said, everything was going along smoothly and Maddie and Caleb were around and it was great having them around. And I loved Caleb, he was definitely like family. But, things started to fall apart, in Arizona as they clashed over coronavirus-related precautions. Then when his marriages fell apart, he said, his bonds with the kids followed. It just made all those relationships go sour. But Christine insisted there were issues well before she announced she was leaving in late 2021. All the kids that were frustrated were frustrated way before I left, she said on the September 22nd episode. My leaving didn't change his kids' relationship with him. Cody can still fix his relationships with his children. Though it'll definitely take some work. I'm so angry about how I've been treated that I haven't gotten past that, Cody explained. Here's the thing is I'm not willing to take blame for things that my wife or ex-wife is sitting there telling them that I did. I hope the time comes when the contempt will subside. We'll be able to find forgiveness and love again. Cody said his marriage to Mary was miserable. Cody revealed he and Mary didn't know each other all that well when they wed both spiritually and legally at the age of 21 and 19, respectively. They eventually filed for divorce in 2014 so Cody could legally adopt Robin's three eldest children from her first marriage. When we got married, she was very different and I think just there's some baggage that Mary had that I didn't know about, Cody explained. Initially, I felt like I could live with it. Claiming that everything was a fight, he said, I can't live in a world where she is constantly angry at me. Yet, he was unable to leave. A man, in plural marriage, said Cody, if he wants to stay faithful and in the faith, he cannot request a divorce. It's not allowed. So I was not able to get out of that relationship. At the same time, I didn't necessarily want out of the relationship. I wanted to know if we could save and fix it. Hence the mixed messages, he acknowledged of Mary thinking they would work everything out. But, every time they were together, continued Cody, she wasn't nice, she wasn't fun, she wasn't kind, she wasn't interesting, I'm trying to be curious with her and I'm bored. To be fair, he added, he could see why Mary felt abandoned, but I didn't kick me out. Christine, Janelle and Mary all chose to have me leave the home. Mary plans to get a spiritual divorce though Janelle and Christine felt they didn't need to divorce Cody because their marriage was never legal. Mary planned to ask their church for an official separation, called a release. When each of his four ladies married Cody, it was through our church, she explained in the September 22nd episode. Obviously we can't all be legally married, but it was what we call the covenant. So I feel like it's best to terminate that because we're not moving forward with any marriage and I don't want to be, like, sealed to him for eternity if he doesn't want me and I'm at a place that, like, let's just separate this completely. Cody was resistant to the idea, she added, not wanting to, acknowledge the authority, of the church leaders. The damage was done so badly that we're not going to reconcile no matter what, Cody explained of his stance. And so however, we are made accountable to God, 
I don't want to be accountable to this church and all their BS. So I'm going to let Mary go and do her thing because if I'm angry at her it, it becomes a fight. And I needed her just to go away because it just took forever for her to finally realize it's been done and over for years. Many of Cody's kids aren't speaking to each other a text message discussion over a 2021 holiday gift exchange turned particularly ugly for the 18 Brown offspring. It all went bad, it all went south, detailed Christine. Cody and Robin and their kids were on one side and they wanted nothing to do with Janelle, me, our kids, and there was a split that happened after this text thread. Robin's take was that her three older kids felt the exchange was emotionally unsafe and said they needed to take a step back from the relationship but it was never anything about, we don't want to see you again, we don't want anything to do with you, she insisted, it was just about, like, hey this got yucky. Robin's kids never felt welcomed into the family, I have been told directly, multiple circumstances by multiple different people, that I was not accepted, Aurora insisted of coming into the family when her mom wed Cody in 2010, that I was not their sister, that they didn't consider or see me that way. And her sister Brianna said she felt the parents could have done a better job with, you know, connecting us as a family and it never really happened. But Christine isn't sure how they could have opened their arms any wider. Robin's kids and Robin were invited to everything, she insisted. I would just say, just come in, come into the house anytime you want. Meanwhile, she added, her daughter Isabel Brown was very close to Robin's kids and McKelty Brown Padron even lived with them for a stretch. There were hard times and my kids were frustrated but they always considered Robin's kids their siblings just the same. Janelle would do plural marriage again gushing about the independence she was afforded. Janelle said of plural marriage, when it's functioning correctly, you have this amazing family unit that you're part of, a community that you're plugged into. You have a husband and you have a great relationship with him and and you have everything, right? And then I have all my independence. So to me, plural marriage really was a really great arrangement.